all you need to do is go on NBC and you know, 35 million people are hearing you instantly. Anything of any importance, it will be on television. And But those people who are in the entertainment industry, like myself, and know the background, uh, if it's on television, it's most likely a lie or deception or entertainment. There's nothing right. to it. No, no, no value in it whatsoever. Yeah. It's Americans and Russians are thinking of landing men on it. Oh, well, that will never happen. Uh, get your head in the right place. Um, we will be able to dismantle this um, this false temple, this falsehood of pseudoscience, and we will be able to bring everyone back to God, the Creator, to Godhead, and we can be in bliss forever. Intelligent, and we will never ever again suspend our intelligence for these self service to self demons. So, a real big one then: is there space at all? outer space as such and can we go there or is that all part of the illusion I mean I'm, I'm sure many people that even scoff at and reject the idea of a, a flat earth do accept that NASA have constantly lied to us about uh, their various space missions and particularly the moon landings and uh, many people believe that it's not actually possible to go to the moon at all let alone go out into space so that throws out the International Space Station and satellites and all the rest of it so presumably we are limited in terms of how far up we can go within this model oh yeah absolutely um this model, this universe, is our universe, and we are the center of it, because wherever you are, you are the center of the universe. In this conditioned temporal world, we have eight conditions. Five are gross, and three are subtle. They are the external potency of Krishna, the creator. And so the five gross elements are earth, water, air, fire, ether, and the three subtle ones are material mind, material intelligence, and false ego. Now, these have their spiritual counterparts. And so when we embrace the higher mind, the Krishna consciousness, Christ consciousness, we um, 
uh, we activate our higher consciousness, which consists of the three higher spiritual um, conditions, internal conditions of the Creator, which are ego, intelligence, mind in the spiritual form, and the other elements follow suit. And so this is why we are here to sublimate the lower and embrace the higher. And once we do, we will lose all the hocus-pocus models. And so this is all I can say about the half-truthers out there who continue to stay on the, on the fence or, or, well, not so much the fence, I, I can respect that, but um, the ones who, without doing research, are just sticking with the hocus-pocus globe. Yeah. You are half-truthers and you are doing harm to yourself and you are supporting demon worship and you are wrong and you need to grow up and spiritualize your mind.